so friends here i have completed my crow chain with 32 components let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and 32. So my 32 component chain is complete. Now I have to turn it into a teardrop. So I will bring these ends together to close them and make a teardrop here while making the teardrop i we have to be very careful about the beads the level or you can say the side which are coming together here now now for checking the level we can see that this side bead come in the same line so here the inner side bead they all are coming in the same line it means that we have bring together the correct beads now I will pick up one 11 o seed bead and enter through this seed bead of the other end and now I will pass through this one. So now this will make the base of our joining component the joint for this. I will pick up three 11 O's, pass through this bead, pick up two seed beads, pass through these two seed beads. Now I will get into this third base bead, pick up two seed bead and pass through these two. Now coming toward the fourth ball of our joining component. Like this. Now coming to the top beads of our joining component we will just pass through all these four beads like this now to smooth out the edges here you can see that I have exited through this side bead now I will pick up one eleven o and pass through this one this bead very gently do not pull the thread too tight very gently you have to make this circle and then like this now moving toward the other side now the top bead on the other side now coming to the other side the side bead side top side bead I will pick up one eleven o, and very gently I will enter through this bead do not pull it too tight pick up one eleven o, and pass through this top bead
so here you can say you can see that a teardrop the base for a teardrop the outer teardrop is complete now we are going to add the cup chain on the top of it for this i'm using 2 mm cup chain <laughs> So I would be using 2 mm cup chain here on the top of this teardrop. So this. Now, now I would mix it through this bead and enter through this side bead. So We have to attach this on the sides. So I would be coming out from this side bead. This side bead is the first bead of the side cross here. This is the top this is the top circle of four beads. This is the first circle of right hand side bead. Right hand side of the teardrop so I am coming out from this one the top bead of this first circle of right side leave two stones on the top and now I will again pass through the same bead like this just to sew this cup chain over this bead now i will enter through this bead and through this next horizontal bead Now I will place the thread over the cup chain and pass through the same bead once again like this. Adding the cup chain has to be done very gently otherwise your thread will get entangled with the cup chain. Now the next third horizontal bead here I will place the thread over the cup chain and pass through the same bead very gently now entering through this bead And then the horizontal bead underneath the cup chain. I will come to the other side of it. Place the thread here. And again 
I will come out from the horizontal bead underneath the cup chain very gently pulling the thread here now through this bead I will come up here toward the next horizontal bead place the thread enter through the same bead pull the thread now enter through this bead through this into the horizontal bead place the thread on the cup chain pass through the same bead very gently pulling the thread now here you can see that I have attached these stones to the the cup chain to my craw chain each stone should sit on the circle of this four beads so we have to be very careful while placing the cup chain each stone should sit just above this bead so now I will come out from this bead enter into the horizontal bead place my thread between this on in the space and pull it very gently so this way we are going to attach our cup chain on the top of this teardrop so here you have you can see that I have completed adding my cup chain and just reached towards it last bead now my last bead is this one on the left this is the first cross the first circle of four beads on the left side now I will pass through the same bead Gently placing my thread like this. Now now I have placed my bead my cup chain here. I will come up from here these side four beads towards the front bead the top front bead of my teardrop that crouching now here I left two stones again I would be leaving two stones just parallel to this let me cut off the extra chain here So now I will just place these two stones, the top two stones together like this and sew them with this top bead. 
place them together and sew them with this top piece. I repeat this just to strengthen them. Very gently you have to place the thread in between these four stones of the cup chain and then pass through this bead. So here a teardrop with cup chain is ready. Now I will enter through the side bead, side top bead pick up one three mm pearl now here I am exiting from the up I am exiting from upside now I will enter through the bottom of the next bead since I want to place this pearl over the top of this joint component that we made again pass through the back bead the bead at the back now towards like here now I will come up to this bead here and add one eleven o gold seed bead with this pearl. Again, pick up one eleven o gold seed bead and pass through this seed bead. Again, pick up one eleven o galvanized gold and pass through this. We would be adding this 11 of gold here in this space here we would be adding 1 2 in all 10 11 of seed beads i have already added two now i i would be adding the third one 3 Four. like this I would be adding 10 11 o gold seed bead so here I have added 10 11 o galvanized gold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 sorry, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I added by mistake I added one extra so now they are 10 So they are 10. Now I will pick up one 3 mm pearl and add it here. Now I will be adding one 15 o in between these pearls. Again I will add one three mm pearl and then one fifteen o like this we have to add eight pairs of pearl and fifteen o to the bottom of our teardrop 
in the eighth pair we are only going to add this pearl and not the 15 oh now you can see that i have added one two three four five six seven eight pearls 3 mm pearls and in between them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total 7 15 o seed beads. Now after adding this 3 mm pearl, the 8 one, I would be adding 11 o gold galvanized seed bead. 1, 2 just as we did on this side we will be doing this on this side we would be adding 10 11 o gold seed beads on the on this side also so like this i have added 9 and the 10th one is this one the one i added with the pearl so this is our 10th bead Here I am running short of my thread. So let me just change my thread. So now I have added 11 seed beads on both sides of the teardrop and the pearls. Now I will pass through this pearl and these seed beads now we would be adding 15 seed beads on the inner part of this teardrop on this inner part so we have to come up to this inner part for this here i will enter through this seed bead just which is underneath this cup chain after exiting from this 11 o seed bead red 11 o seed bead i will pass through this seed bead underneath the cup chain so I have reached this inner teardrop. Now I will pass through this one. Now I will be adding 15 O's all through this round. Like this. Like this, I would be adding 15 O's all through this round. So, I have come up to the end of this round. Very gently, we have to add these 15 O's. Do not pull the thread too tight. If you want to keep our teardrop in shape. So, we have to be very gentle while adding these 15 O's. So this is the last 15 o of this round. Now we would be adding 15 o's to the back side of this teardrop for this. Here I have exited from this uh, 15 o now entering through this 11 o. And 
through this we would come to the back side of our teardrop now enter through this flavino now we will be adding 15 nodes to the inner teardrop just as we did in the front here also we have to add these 15 nodes very gently it will provide strengthening to our to the shape of our teardrop so like this i would be adding 15 nodes all through this round so here i have added 15 nodes all through this inner teardrop now now i would come out from this seed bead to the outer tear outer teardrop and here just as i did in the front i will be adding 11 o's all through this round 11 o gold i will come out from this red bead first and then i will add one 11 o galvanized gold here like this I would be adding this 11 o galvanized gold all through this outer teardrop so here I have completed my round of adding 11 o's to this outer teardrop now I will come down to this pearl Here. from here I will go from underneath this bead uh, let's move back a little and from here I will move underneath toward the inner part towards the front so I will come out from this 15 -0. We have to come out from the 15 o which is just below this pearl. Here you can see that we have to come out from this 15 o which is just below this pearl. Or uh, if we count, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is our tenth fifteen o from the top. So we have to come out from the tenth fifteen o from this side, counting from this side. Now we would be adding one fifteen o, sorry, one eleven o gold seed bead. 3 mm pearl and 1 11 o gold seed bead we will take the set of these three beads and 
working with right angle weave with this 15 o cp like this so we have worked out right angle weave with these four beads now coming out from this pearl this is 3 mm pearl again I will pick up one 11 o galvanized gold one 3 mm pearl and one 11 o galvanized gold again the set of these three beads and working out right angle weave with this pearl like this so i have done right angle weave here with this I would be making a chain of eight components or eight pearls with right angle weave. So coming out from the pearl 111 o 1 3 mm pearl 111 o and getting into the pearl again I have made third component of our right angle weave now like this I would be making eight components with this right angle weave so here I have completed this chain of eight pearls one two three four five six seven eight eight pearls this is right angle weave chain with pearls now i will be attaching this to the 15 o just below the pearl the first pearl on this side we started from the pearl on this side and we will end it with the pearl on this side so for this I will pick up one 11 o seed bead pass through this 15 o just below the pearl I pick up one 11 o and pass through this pearl we are doing right angle weave again with these four beads tighten the thread here now pass through this 15 o then 11 o now pick up two 15 o's and pass through here we have exited from this 11 o now i will be picking up two 15 o and pass through this 11 o again pick up two 15 o pass through this 11 o Pick up two fifteen o's pass through this eleven o. We would be doing this till here, adding two fifteen o's in between these 
eleven hours. Now we have added 15 hours here on the bottom side of the pearls. Now I will pass through this 15 hour, this 11 hour. Now I will be adding one 11 hour in between the 11 hours above the pearl. One, second eleven o, third eleven o. Now, our fourth bead would be a fifteen o. Now I am adding 15 o. Fifth is also 15 o. Now the sixth one is again 11 o. Seventh one is again 11 o. And this eighth bead is also 11 o. So now I will come down from these beads, this 15 o, 11 o, and these 15 o's. We have to join this 11 o in between the fourth and fifth pearl to the bottom. So we will come up till there. Passing through all these beads. So, one, two, three, four. So, we have come out from these two 15 O's just below the fourth bird. You can see here. Now, I will pick up. Two fifteen o's sorry now I will pick up one fifteen o and pass through this fifteen o which falls in between the fourth and fifth pearl. You can see one, two, three, four. This one is fourth and this is fifth. We have to pass through this pearl on the inner edge of this teardrop which lies just between the fourth and the fifth pearl. Just like this. Now again I will pick up 115 O and pass through these two 15 O's next to this 11 o in between the fourth and fifth pearl I will pass through these two and the rest of the beads like this we have attached our chain to the bottom We will go once again all through this round towards this bead. Let 
let us pass through all these peaks once again and come to the bottom here we have joined this pearl chain to this teardrop now we would be passing through this be these two fifteenos here like this pick up three fifteenos and now we will be passing through this fifteeno in between the fourth and fifth pearl on the same side these beads should fall in between these two stones like this 